uh, hello and welcome. Uh, this is a tutorial on uh, on how to format your iPhone if you have a problem similar like this one. Uh, this is an iPhone 3GS which having a looping problem which is keep on looping uh, and it won't go into the home screen or lock screen. Yeah. The first step is you need to know how to shut this down. Uh, you see if I connect this to this iPhone to the to 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 my laptop to the iTunes here I connected it already and my PC won't detect this one my laptop sorry see nothing happened because the iPhone is within the looping mode right now it's like hang there with the loading icon there this this is an iPhone 3GS which is previously um, previously uh, installed with iOS 4.21 and and it was jailbroken before okay now we are going to to first step to format this iPhone right now is uh, to put the iPhone into uh, DFU mode uh, to put this iPhone into DFU mode you need to take out the cable first make sure there's a running bit uh, the battery is there's a battery in the iPhone uh, uh, there's a power, power in the battery okay and then you need to on the home button here home button this is called a home button and the slip button here okay you need to hold these two together okay this is actually not a way to sh to uh, properly this is not a proper way to shut down an iPhone to turn off an iPhone this is a uh, 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 method to force shut down an iPhone like when we are forcing a laptop uh, to shut down we hold the the power button for some time and the laptop button off okay now I'm going to turn this iPhone off okay it's quite hard to Okay. Okay, now it's turned off already. You need to check whether the iPhone is turned off or not by clicking the home button. So nothing happened, right? Okay, now to put this iPhone into DFU mode, you need to take out your cable. Okay. Uh right. This is quite hard, okay. Okay, this is what you should do. Prepare your cable and make sure it's connected with your laptop already. With the iTunes is turned on and connect with your laptop. And now you need to press the home button and connect it and and keep on pressing. Do not let go. Until you see this screen. Okay. Right. Okay. Once you see this screen on your iPhone, my laptop will start or your PC will start uh, detecting that the iPhone. Okay. This is it. Installing a driver for Windows Seven, and now it detecting. iTunes has detect an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore. 
the iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. Okay, this is how. Okay, okay, there's a two way on this one. Maybe for some people they want to preserve their own jailbreak uh, vulnerability by installing the 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 previous iOS, which is not the latest now. Right now it's uh, the 5.0 version, iOS version 5.0. Um, this previous uh, this iPhone was previously installed on 4.21. Unfortunately, I did I didn't download any 4.21, so I just go with the with the iOS 5.0. So I click install in here. If you want to to uh, to install your own your own um apa nama you you down you download your own iOS ready uh your 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 iOS ready then you just shift and restore click shift click shift and click restore uh, and then you just need to find it uh, where you put it okay otherwise if you want uh, I think to just use your Whatever uh, the latest, the latest iOS just click store and restore and update. Ah. Now it's connecting to the iPhone software update server. Okay, blah blah blah. Next, agree. So this one is going to take for a while so that's it folks um, as long as the iPhone is in the recovery mode and it's good to go to for restore okay that's it and thank you